Hello. I'm going to show you how to set up hibernation on Linux systems that use Grub. First of all, I want to talk about the difference between suspend, hibernate, and sleep. Suspending is saving the state to RAM, meaning that your system never actually completely shuts down. All it does is turn off what it doesn't need, um, but still supplies power to the RAM in order to re uh, remember the, the state that you used to be in, so that when you move your mouse or you open your laptop, uh, it resumes quickly what the state used to be. Um, this allows you to save power when you're moving so that you don't have to keep your system completely on. This is the default setting when you close your lid, I believe. So the downside to suspend is that there's a risk of your system running out of um, power, the battery running dead or something like that, if you're on a laptop. Obviously this doesn't apply to desktops, but if you're if you run out of power when you're suspending, then you'll lose your state, and you'll when you boot up again, there's nothing you can do to recover. Hibernation, on the other hand, saves your state to disk so that you can completely shut down. This is great because you can't suspend indefinitely, but you can hibernate indefinitely. Your state will always be remembered because it's saved to disk, and your system completely powers off, so you won't run out of um, power. The downside to hibernation is obviously that you just have to boot up your computer again, and in my case, I don't mind waiting that, you know, 10 seconds it is to turn on my laptop in order to make sure that I'll always have where I left off. Uh, sleeping is a hybrid between the two. So sleeping is saving the system state to RAM and then saving your user space to disk. So this allows for the system to remain on so that you can quickly resume, but it's using less power because the user space, like all your programs that you have open, is saved to disk. Um, the only thing uh, save to RAM is the system state. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that you have a swap partition or a swap file. So you can do lsblk and this will list your blocks. Uh, mine is sda7. Your uh, swap partition might not have the swap mount point there because you haven't set up hibernation yet, but that's alright. So take note of where which, uh, which partition is your swap partition and then you're going to sudo edit. In my case I'm going to use vim for my editor. Into etsy default grub. That's what it is. And then enter your password. Okay, these are the two kernel parameters here, sets of kernel parameters. The first one is used for only normal boots. The second one is used for every boot type. So in the default boot parameters, which is misleading because default meaning normal boot, okay, these are the parameters that are going to be passed. Uh, each parameter is separated by space. In my case, they're all log parameters, so they all suppress uh, some sort of log so that I can have a um, cleaner looking boot. But I only want this in the default boot parameters because um, if I'm doing booting into protective mode or some sort of advanced mode, I would like to have as much logging as possible in case something goes wrong, and that's why I'm in protective mode. So this line here are parameters that are always passed no matter what. So you have to be careful what you put in here. The parameter you need to know is resume equals s uh, slash dev slash sda7. So, in your you will put where your swap partition is, uh, the location of that. So, slash dev slash sd, and then a letter, and then a number. Once you've done that, you can write and quit. Now that that file has been written to, you need to uh, regenerate the grub configuration file. So that is not the grub configuration file. Um, that is what is used to create the grub configuration file. So what you do is you sudo, just like when you installed your system in the first place, to sudo grub make config dash o for output, and then you're just going to overwrite whatever wherever your grub configuration file is. So by default, it is in boot grub grub cfg. Um, these, this is uh, the default if you follow the ArchWiki. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. So you can see there's my grub configuration file there. That is called at boot time. Um, anyway, so you just want to overwrite wherever your file is and with this command here. So this will generate the grub configuration file that's exactly the same as before. All it's doing is adding that kernel parameter into that into there. So it'll find your boot partition and everything. Okay, great. So now you're all set to hibernate. So what you can do to hibernate 
is you, this requires sudo, I believe. You do systemctl, and then you type in uh, hibernate. If you want to sleep, you do hybrid sleep. I believe it's called hybrid sleep. Hybrid like, dash sleep. And it'll take, give or take, 10 seconds, depending on how fast your write speed is to your disk, to write to your disk and then power off. Your screen might flicker. Um, that's completely normal. It's just saving your state to the disk, so that does take a second. You have to be aware of that. So I also want to talk about uh, a couple things that you can change once you've set up hibernation correctly. So systemd handles, um, can you can change how systemd handles your hardware switches for hibernation and suspend and power off and a bunch of other things. Um, so by default, lid close is suspend, I'm pretty sure. And uh, the power off button is power off and the hibernation button is, is hibernate and so on and so forth. So what you can do is you can sudo edit this file in etsy systemd slash login d.conf once you're in here everything commented out is the default behavior so most likely all these will be commented out so for example the idle action default is ignore and the remove ipc is yes these are all the defaults to, that you can refer to um, once if you would like to change that, you just uncomment the line that you would like to change, and then you change it to whatever you would like um, following the the um, equal sign. So, for example, handle suspend key and handle and hibernate key. H handle hibernate key in my case is both set to hibernate, and handle lid switch is set to hybrid sleep, because um, I I don't mind waiting a little longer to save a bit more power. Um, I recommend. Um, maybe copying the line and then pasting it and uncommenting that line just so that you have the so that you remember what the default state was. I didn't do it, but that's fine. So after you've done that, you can write and quit that file. And now, in order for that to take take effect, you need to refresh it in some way as well as the that you did with the grub. So um, in this case, it's a service, so you need to restart that service. So you do sudo systemctl uh, restart. Restart. Let's see if I can type. Um, System D dash login D. That's the name of the service, I believe. Let's check. Yes, yeah, System D login D. So once you've done that, once you do this, it'll log you out. Um, and then when you log back in, the syst how hand how System D handles the hardware switches will apply to what you said in the configuration file. Anyway, I hope this helped you in some way, and I hope that it works. If it doesn't work, the first thing you should do is check the Arch Wiki for known hardware issues, um, it's for known issues about your, your specific hardware. For example, Sony laptops, uh, I noticed on the Arch Wiki, have an issue with hibernation, and there's an extra kernel parameter that you need to pass in your grub. Um, that's just an example. So if it doesn't work, you should check the Arch Wiki. Um, and other than that, I hope you can figure it out, <laughs> and I hope I helped in some way. Um, thank you. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe for more content.